Hello everybody, welcome to a different map. Uh, I like these types of maps better, the adventure maps that actually have notes with them. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. So, let's do this. Read introduction. It's 40 years after the downfall of modern civilization. Humanity is but a few scattered communities and guarding whatever little is left for the world's resources before humans could do whatever they wanted when they wanted. They exploited every and used every bit of bounty the planet had offered and created on the and created empires that circled the globe creating a world with 8 billion human beings, over 1,000 square miles of cities, thousands of acres of farmland, and hundreds and thousands of factories. But the planet was suffering. Acres of forests were disappearing, the oceans were being emptied and polluted. As the air was thick with smog, what used to be a beautiful planet was slowly turning into decaying rock. But then something happened. No one knows exactly now, or when it was supposed to happen, but the system that fed, then provided for people, collapsed, leaving billions in the wake of an oncoming disaster. For the first few billion year, million years of famine, disease, or killed the f fight for survival. Those who survived spent the rest of their remainder of their lives relearning the skills they have lost in the modern world and guarding what little they had. That's where you come in. You are a member of an agricultural community in the outskirts of the ruins of a large city. Your community is a small and defenseless one that makes its livelihood off growing and trading food. But lately your community has heard rumors of a band of marauders that has taken themselves to raid and pillage any village that have anything of value to them. Your community fears that it may be next and wishes to protect itself. The elders have decided that the only way to fend off the band of marauders is to fight, find a set of extremely powerful relics hidden near a place known as Wapantamwa. According to many traders who travel near your community, there are five relics. The apple of immortality, the fruit that heals an, any and all wounds, the armor of incivility, a set of armor that protects the user from any and all damage, the book of wisdom, an ancient tone full of collective knowledge of the world, the crown of allure, a crown that renders the user completely leader of any and all people, and finally, the Sword of Destiny, an incredibly powerful weapon that renders all enemies in a bloody heap. But the traders always warn of the land of Wapantamwa. According to their accounts, Wapantamwa is a thick and interminable wilderness, kept persistent throughout all the horrors of history. They admit the land of Wapantamwa is a beautiful place with lots of beautiful glades, forests, with trees that seem to go on for miles, clean, calming rivers and streams in the areas thick with wildlife. But they always they, then go vivid detail to describe the horrible incidents that happen to anyone who ventures inside for too long, and count off the number of people that have been eaten, maimed, or simply disappeared inside. Despite this, your community realizes that even the slim chance that they find this land, they cannot simply lay down and die. Your community organizes a band of scouts, you included, to seek out Wapantamwa and the five relics. You fear for your life and the lives of your friend and family, but you know you must continue if your wish is to protect them. Oh, look, and, and the joys continue. That was the note we read. And the Minecraft ran out of memory, so you guys were looking at a screen that said Minecraft ran out of memory for probably, like, oh, I don't know, a while. So, read introduction. That was the introduction. So now let's take a look-see. Oh, what the... That's a little odd. Just saying. <sighs> Looks like somebody had a little... Ooh, beds. Actually, yeah, that's... Okay. Let's look around a bit. Okay, so there's these these 
these towers that are around here. Okay. Riverwood, Trollville, Levin and Nocturnal. Hmm. Those are so hard to say, especially in uh, the screen I'm using. I'm not going full screen. I probably should. Uh, Oh boy. Oh god, am I seriously gonna get lost in this map too? I really shouldn't be getting lost in this map. Okay, read introduction. That's nice. I did that. Now what? Now what? Now what? Well, there's a bunch of boats. Bunch of boats. All around. I swear, what are, are these things? Eh. <sighs> Why is there wool sitting there? Oh. Okay, let's see if I can find note one. Or let's take a look around and see. Ooh, a cow! Who's a cute little cow? Who's a derp? Who's a derp? <laughs> He's a derp. Okay. <laughs> where, oh, where do I go? The Candyman can. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna take the path with the least resistance and see if we can get somewhere. Which is this way. That's not gonna take me anywhere, is it? Aww. New Minecraft ran out of memory again. Aww. That's so cute. BRB. The weird thing is, is I'm not running any programs other than those notes, which are just a notepad file. Alright, so I'm going to take the path of least resistance and say that this is the way we need to go. <laughs> least resistance. I'm funny. I make myself laugh sometimes. <gasps> this might be it. Up ahead, pleasant hills. <gasps> oh, that was a good jump. Oof. Oh no, and I fell. I can't make it. Let's just go over here and try to make it up. Okay, phew, oof. I was swimming. Okay. Was there anything way back here? Oh, there was. Ah, shit. Okay. Oh, boy. What's, what's, what's that say? What's that say? Pleasant hills something. Well, it doesn't say read note one, so this sign over here might, though. Okay, seriously, run out of memory on me again? Why does it keep doing that? God damn it! I seriously don't know why it keeps running out of memory on me, but we'll find out sooner or later, and I gotta go read that note. Read note 13. Did I just skip over, like, 12 other notes? Oh, read note one. Oof. Okay, read note one. Here, 
we go back to game okay here we go folks um <clears throat> whew after a full week of wandering north of your village, past several sets of ruins, you cross a crumbling bridge over a disgustingly filled lake, full of sludge and black garbage, and arrive at the remains of a small town. The sign over the entrance threads pleasant hills in gaudy 1950s print. The town is a rotting husk, and you spy behind the town a dried-up river and lake cutting across what you guessed to be a forest. It seems an unlikely place for Wat Pan Tamoa to be in, but the old billboards that dotted the countryside pointed the town for this entrance called place called Wata, Pantamwa National Park. You might as well look for anything of use in this town. Sweet. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, Shiznats. Don't destroy what Pantamwa. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So there's some ruins. And there's some ruins. There's some ruins. Oh my gosh. More jobs for a better tomorrow. I'm voting ca ca Carnage for mayor. Okay. Uh, do not destroy what Pantamwa. Vote Gum Gummer Smith. Oh, I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to for don't forget to click subscribe and check out our cool links in the description below. Sorry for all of the out of memory um, notices, but I guess that's what you got to do deal with. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe and the cool links and all that stuff. My name is Wyatt, and I'll see you next time.